want cool eyeballs like these? Then here's a quick and easy tutorial on how to make realistic eyes from polymer clay and resin. Step 1. To get a matching pair and consistent results, I'm going to be using a mould. I bought this silicone chocolate mould in the supermarket, but it's a little bit thin, so I'm going to back it up with plaster to strengthen it, which is called a mother mould. After it has dried, I powder the silicone with a bit of cornstarch, and then the mould is ready to use. Step 2. It's time to cast the eyes in polymer clay. And for this, I'm using Sculpey Original, which is conveniently white for the white of the eyes. After kneading it for a minute, I simply press it into my house fair moulds and then flatten the top with a spatula. Then I insert a little screw into the back, which will act as a convenient little handle. Next, the whole mould goes into the oven. Both the silicon and the plaster are fine to be baked, just don't heat it up or cool it down too quickly, as otherwise you risk the plaster cracking. Step 3. After baking, it's time to sand down the tip of our eyes to make room for the iris. I start with a rough sandpaper to make some quick progress and check as I go to make sure I get the diameter that I want. Then I move on to a final sandpaper to smooth out the surface and before you know it, we're already on to step 4. For this step, I've actually prepared a little iris printout for you. It has both creature and human eyes and in six different sizes. You'll be able to download the free PDF via my website makeeffects.online. Once you've cut out the design you want, you'll need a bit of PVA glue to tack the iris onto the flat surface. Step 5. For the last step, we're going to encapsulate the eyes in resin, which will make them look super shiny and realistic. Mix part A and part B according to the ratio of your chosen brand and mix it well. Then fill up the cavities in the mould to about halfway. And remember to protect the surface underneath as this might spill over. I tap the mould gently to bring any air bubbles to the surface and then I use the heat for my blowtorch to eliminate those tiny bubbles. Now the eyeballs are ready for their coating and this is when that little screw handle comes in really handy. Once the resin is cured, the eyes can be demoulded and if you do this while the resin is still just a little bit soft, it's super easy to cut the excess off just with normal scissors. If you no longer want the handle, you can simply unscrew it at this stage to get a flat back. You might also want to sand the edges a smidge just to get rid of any sharp points. This is what the final eyeballs will look like and you can use them for doll making, insert them into your sculptures or just use them to freak out your friends. But wait, there's more! If you want red eyes, Here's two easy ways to achieve that added effect. Use red flocking or cut out some fun fur into small pieces. Mix it into your raw polymer clay and knead it together until it looks even. Then continue as normal from step 3 onwards and this is what your final eyes will look like. Or make a normal eyeball from step 1 to 4 and then paint the red on with a watered down acrylic paint before completing step 5. This will give a more dominating bloodshot look and this is what the final version will look like. Here's a selection of final eyes, all using the irises from my free PDF download. But how you use these eyeballs in your sculptures is a story for another day. So think about subscribing so you don't miss out on any future tutorials.